Hello, Dr. Benson. Uh, my name is uh, Abdulaziz, and here are my partners. Kevin Bray. Christian Castro. Oh, yeah, sure. uh, today we are going to talk about uh, our project for the Sparkyville power plant. The purpose of our design is to create a self-contained composite source power plant. We aim to generate clean and efficient energy, as well as keep a low cost, high sustainability, and keep it looking pleasing to the eye. We have to keep the project under certain criteria, such as the low cost of the project, sustainability, durability, how efficient the generator runs, uh, the aesthetics of our build, and lastly, marketability, lastly, how adaptable the project is. Uh, the constraints consist of first one by one foot plywood base. Build has to be attached to the base. The system has to be easily transportable and broken down. And lastly, cannot exceed two foot in height, six or six inches in any direction. Our design is simple but innovative. Uh, the power plant has a drawer generator system that um, allows us to handle uh, two different types of engines, uh, wind engines and hydroelectrical engines. What sets this power plant apart from others is our dual generator system and our acetate film paddles on our water wheel. The dual system allows us to collect these energies separately and not collectively onto one, uh, onto one generator. And the acetate film has a stronger durability as long as a lightweight for maximum efficiency. So over time, as water hits the film, it won't erode as if it was pine wood. Uh, the acetate film gives us a great advantage. Although the acetate may cost more per square foot compared to the pine wood, the functionality and efficiency justifies the difference in cost. The chosen features and characteristics of our design are primarily in reference to the decision matrix. The central criteria for this project are cost, sustainability, aesthetics, efficiency, which also includes efficiency of space, and marketability. With the implementation of a dual generator system, the overall efficiency is much higher due to the fact that when in action, our system can ideally produce double the amount of energy. Another feature of our design that improves efficiency are the polyethylene paddles on our water wheel. As said before, these paddles will not wear away as quickly as wood and in return won't need to be replaced as often, thus improving the efficiency of the cost. In relation to marketability, both of these features appeal to, to that factor. The dual generator system does so because it gives the system independence. When you want to place the system anywhere in the country, you can because of the multidisciplinary aspects of the system. This is a diagram of our self-contained composite source power plant. In the top left, you'll see the area allotted for our wind generator system, which will house one of our generators. In the top right, you'll see the area in which we have our mounting system for our hydroelectric generator, which will essentially mount the hydroelectric wheel. In the bottom left will be the generator and pulley for our hydroelectric system. And the space underneath the square is where the hydroelectric wheel will be housed, which will hang over the side of the system so that it may catch water. With our design in mind, there are no doubts that it will reach the criteria. Perhaps our design may even surpass the given criteria. To meet your objectives, we did not include a system that uses conventional fuel found in a standard power plant. Our system did not include unwanted expensive material, nor did it have a singular system to generate power. The size of our system does not exceed the size requirements to be implemented in a developed urban area. So in regards to our project, we hope you see it as fit. Thank you.